Next, you're going to want to open Sony Vegas. And, um... Alright, hurry up, open. Open, hurry up. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you start a new file, just in case there's anything there. Well, a new project, I mean. Then, you're going to want to go to your pro project properties and make sure you choose HDV, HDV 72030p this one you're gonna wanna choose so then leave everything as is change this well it doesn't have it here but delete it change this to 30 frames per second um, make sure this is 8-bit and not 32-bit flooring range leave it at 8-bit this should be best Gaussian, none, adjust source media to better match project or render settings, like that, and start all new project projects with these settings. Apply. Okay, you're ready with that. Now go look for your file. My file is right here. Now drag it onto here. Now it's gonna have the reason why it's gonna it's gonna have little black lines. I don't know if you can see that. But it's gonna have little black lines, and you don't want little black lines showing up. So, what you're gonna do is, um, I already have uh, a preset for uh, getting rid of those lines. So, if you want, oh, oh. what you're gonna have to do is, uh, what the, what the heck? Why is it doing that? What you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna. You're gonna wanna like go in and actually move it so that way it's over the black line like mine, you see? So once you have that done, and, and it's gonna have it on the bottom too a little bit. You see it's a little bit there, so make it sh make sure it's above it. So, so that way it doesn't go through. Then you're gonna wanna do maintain aspect ratio to no. And that's it for making it actually fit. The next you want to do is go to video effects, go to brightness and contrast, and I already have my my game. You get this is what's gonna make it uh, brighter. So you're gonna want to add that, and here I'll show you what it looks like. So the brightness will be at 0.04, contrast will be 0.05 and the contrast center will be 0.50 so make sure you got that down and save it as as anything you want mine's is gameplay contrast fix you can name it anything where you put YouTube HD or whatever next thing you wanna do is go to color corrector and click studio RGB to computer RGB now this makes the color stand out more as you'll see you see it just makes the colors pop out at you now you could just leave this the way it is and um yeah there you go so next thing you want to do is go all the way down to sharpen then when what you're gonna do in sharpen you're gonna take the sharpness and you're gonna bring the sharpness all the way here to thir 375 percent or not percent but 0.375 and um, yeah, so leave it there and you're almost done. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to go to the video, right click, go to properties, and disable resample. This will eliminate every, any like uh blurriness that the video would have. So uh next thing you wanna do is you gonna wanna move it. I mean you don't have to, but for sometimes for me, the audio gets cut off like right right near the end, right when I click stop. So uh, you can move that if you want. All right. So now that you're done with all the project settings, you want to go to render as, and uh, you're gonna want to click Windows Media Video because this has the best quality for the lowest uh, file size. So you're going to click Windows Media Video, click 
um, go to 6 megabits per second HD 72030p video. Click that one and then go to custom. Now you're gonna want to go to CBR. Leave I think leave everything here. Oh no. Um. Actually, yeah, you can leave this here. Leave it the way it is. Now, this is where everything it should be fine like this. Make sure this is 30 frames per second. It has to be 30 because or else you're gonna lose some uh some quality on it. Uh, next thing you wanna do. Wait, hold on. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it is. Well, let me just show you how I have it. Because I don't want to mess you guys up. Um, Alright, so you're going to want to have the click override default compression buffer here. Um, make sure that's 8. And this seconds per keyframe, leave it at 3. And then the video smoothness, have all the way to sharpness. Sharpest. The bitrate you can you can move change this to 8m, which is like exactly um exactly what you have. Even though it really doesn't matter, but you should have it like that anyway. Um, and then the video render quality, leave it at best. All right, so you're done with that, and now um you want to name the file to whatever you want. Uh, just put Halo Reach. I'll just put it that just for video purposes. Um, so then you're going to click save and then it's going to render for you. And this should take about it'll tell you to take about a minute and uh, 30 seconds. So I'll just leave it here and I'll show you guys the video of how it actually came out to be so I hope this actually helps you and um, please like comment and thanks for watching my video see you guys next time